Well, I mean, uh, the mobile marketplace specifically, that's the biggest marketplace for games. Mm. I mean, it's insane like, how many people play mobile games. And spend money in those games. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? PUBG Mobile? They made 300 billion in their lifetime. <laughs> It's only a few years old. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, it was something like they make 7 million a day in microtransactions. Wow. Yeah, microtransactions. And that's the, uh, just, that's a bit of a grey area, isn't it? FIFA yeah, got in trouble a bit for that. And COD. They did, uh, loot boxes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit, to trying to encourage or almost force yeah. players to, force players to have to, like, pay to, to win, basically. Yeah, yeah. Which it should never be. You should be able to play a long time and play well and unlock everything. Oh, for sure, yeah. The money side of it should be optional, mm -hmm. but like it's, it's I, I don't really like FIFA personally because of its microtransaction ultimate team situation. I don't do ultimate team, so it's not a problem to me. I really <laughs> dislike that because it's like they'll charge you full price for a game, and especially going at this next generation, it's ten pound more. <sighs> so it's like seventy quid now instead mm. of sixty, and then it's like oh yeah, it's like three pound a pack. Or, I don't know how much it is. No idea. I, I couldn't tell you, um, but like. They make some ridiculous amount of money every month from just microtransactions. I bet they do. As well. I don't know if it's just because I'm older. I'm I'm nearly forty, and right. when when Ultimate Teams came out, I I looked at it, I tried it, and I went, "Don't get it." Yeah, I know. I just want to play FIFA. Yeah, I, I, just, I literally just if I could uninstall or remove Ultimate Teams, mm. I would have about f four Fifas ago. <laughs> See, they'll never remove it at this point though, because they just keep making money on it. Oh, it's it's it's, it's the young kids really all playing yeah. against each other and trying to get the better players and stuff. I had a bit of an Ultimate Team addiction when I was at uni. Oh, right. Yeah, it's spending a lot of money on on these packs. You don't have to it's spend. Addi it's addictive. It is definitely is, and yeah. I nearly fell into it again on FIFA 20 a few months ago. Oh no! Oh, stop! Stop playing it now. <laughs> I just turned into a counselling session now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> my name. My name is Tech, and I'm addicted to FIFA. Because <laughs> you no. can you can play the game to win in-game currency, and then spend those on players and packs and whatever you want. But you know, obviously, they encourage you to spend real money on it. And all the YouTubers online are spending. It's like oh, 200 quid pack opening sort of thing. Mm. So they go and do it. And then the kids are like, oh, I want to do that as well. Yeah. Spend loads of money on these packs. And they don't quite get what they want, so they get another pack. Yeah. And then they're spending a little bit more. It's really bad. five quid, and then the next week you're spending 10 quid a time, and the next time it's 20 quid a time. Mm -hmm. My saving grace in all of this is I could spend all the money. In the, well, it doesn't matter what players I would have in my team. I'm shit at the game, so <laughs> it's not going to make any difference. So I will not be playing anyone. I was shit at the game as well, but it's like, oh, I need better players. Where's well, my yes. wallet? I remember this a few years ago. Was it not some sort of... Uh, Facebook thing about how y you are terrible at FIFA. I think I lost a lot. I think I lost eight nil. Wow. So as a forfeit, I think I had to make a group on Facebook <laughs> <laughs> about how bad you are at the game. Yeah. Oh, it's just banter. Yes. <laughs> Slash bullying. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I'd almost forgotten. Oh, I'm a new about... man now. I'm a new. Oh. I'd almost forgotten. Oh, sorry, all about sorry, it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got old wounds there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go home and buy some track uh, packs just to just to make up. What's for funny it. is we made that group. Everyone had a laugh. It was great. And then years later, there was people requesting to join the group. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about this legendary story of this, the world's worst FIFA player. <laughs> oh wow, that's quite a quick claim to fame. That yeah, me and you need a game. To be honest, I've never played it at FIFA. So you see, it really is the worst. Uh, I'm just still getting over my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been one for addiction in anything. Like I've had friends who can't walk past a fruit machine without putting some money in. Right. They just pound after pound, and then they'll, they'll win twenty pound, and they think it's great, even though they've put forty pound in before they won the twenty pound. Oh, then they'll like, put the that, twenty pound back. Yeah, in. that totally <laughs> gets lost. Yeah. I've never like I've never done football gamble. I did a little bit when I was at, when I was at uni, and I used to do the accumulators where you put like a, put a pound on and you yeah. have to pick a winning game from every league. Once and Ellie won two grand because but Chelsea let me down. Chelsea right. lost at home to Norwich. <laughs> A few years ago, and I was like, of all his games, that's the one you think, oh, I've got two grand. The in, least you know? obscure one. And, but yeah. then that, from like, it must be in my chemically in my brain. I was like, well, I'm I'm not going to do that again because mm. what are the chances I'm going to win? And then <laughs> it's a pound, yeah. so I'm just not going to bother. It's too much hassle. No, I've never really got into that stuff. I mean, video games. I'd say maybe you've had a bit more of an addiction, gra addic addictive grab on me uh, over the years. But like that would be like World of Warcraft. That's something I just can't. That kick. was one of the first ones, wasn't it? It was a big MMO back in the well, day, yeah. spend in the game? Uh, not really. Um, it's a subscription base. So it's ah, like that was it, yeah. £10 yeah. a month, and every month it was £10 a month. But then they started adding sneakily stuff in, like, oh, buy this mount that you can ride. Uh, and, like, yeah. You've got 100 others, but this one costs £10. And uh, it's like, mm, 
But like collectors want all of them. Yeah. I suppose uh, in that respect, they would collect stuff in real life. Yeah. So you collect stuff in the game. Yeah. But it's but when the, people are competing and they want to buy the, this and that, try and get a, yeah. a up, one up on, on the other competition. That's I mean, it's a game dangerous. that me and my partner have both played for about 10 years now. World of Warcraft. Yeah. yeah. I've played it for a little bit. Off. Have you ever played it? No, maybe I've played a little it for bit, a little bit, but I was never really into them multi massive multi up <laughs> online games. Never really got into that. I, I couldn't really get into playing on PC. Right. Oh, I, that right. wasn't, I was always consoles, uh, so I just couldn't quite get used to it. I started off on PC. Right. Now I'm console. I've gone back twice, I think. I've gone back and forth. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I got to the point where I just want a console where I just turn it on and I play a game. Yeah. It's a <laughs> My PC, I do like work stuff on it. Like mm -hmm. I do audio editing and video editing sometimes. Yeah. I don't really want to play games. I just want a, a box that will play the games. So. Exactly, yeah. I mean, that's something that we were talking about the other day, especially with like the next gen and even the old gens and stuff. It's like, it's like Cyberpunk 2070 is coming out. Mm, finally. I don't want to mess around with that on PC, getting the right stats and stuff to get the, yeah, the perfect filling with your resolution and yeah, yeah. anti aliasing and all that bang it in and enjoy the game yeah. and not worry about, oh, is it going to work this time or not? And Yeah, that's the I mean, point I got to. Yeah. And that's what these consoles are for, obviously. They're, they're for the people that don't want to mess around with settings. Because it's designed that way. But we're, we're getting more cross-platform. Yeah, that's been great. Which is, I call which is cool. has been very fun with cross-platform. I've done a bit of Halo, cross-platform. Dis disable PC players, though. They'll, they have got an advantage, though, surely. Hacks. All the hacks. Well, the hacks, but just generally the mechanics of having a keyboard and a mouse is quicker yeah. than what you can do on a, on a controller, is it? Kind of, yeah. I, I mean, like I, you can I up your sensitivity, well. I know, but... You can but, I mean, you can put keyboard and mouse on console as well. Yeah, is that is that was have Microsoft done an official mouse and keyboard for the Xbox One? I don't know. I've never really. I, I don't think so. They, they've enabled the support. Yeah, you so can get third party ones. Yeah, uh, you, I don't know. I think you can get into dive into a bit of a hole with keyboards and, and mouse. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can, get yeah, the, the right sure. spec. So if they release their own one, barely anybody would buy it because it'd be way they, better ones. Yeah, they'd be way better ones. They'd make it decent, but they'd way overprice it. So yeah, no one would buy it. Exactly. They they instead released their elite controller for, for games. Yes. So you like the it had like paddles on the back. Yeah, yeah, just a bit of. I've a got one. Over engineered. <laughs> uh, I've got I've got a white and gold controller. one. Right. Um, but I yeah, mean, cross platform I think is huge potential. Can you imagine uh, like just say like uh, COD, mm -hmm. all Xbox players playing PlayStation players. See that that that's the kind of stuff that I would love to see. But they just mix everyone up, and it's like do platform yeah, do platform. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Like I'd love that. Or what if you were playing and you didn't know. Yeah, it, it, it just take that out of the equation. It's just players. Yeah. See, they put like labels on it at the minute, though. So you're like, oh, he's winning because he's a play a PC player. He's got a keyboard and mouse on him, and it's like, yeah. Can you not just remove that? Is then... that scientist? Does that been proven? Then do PC players generally do better? I don't know because a lot of PC players use controllers. Oh right. So okay. like, I know if you... that doesn't make sense to me. If I was using a PC, it would be, that'd be the reason I want it for a keyboard and a mouse. I mean, you can get some really smart controllers for PC. Like, uh, I think there's scuff ones. Right. They're, they're like custom made and they're, they're amazing. But yeah, um, like Nick Merckx, I think he plays on PC and he uses a controller. I suppose there'll be some players who defy all that. Yeah, yeah. But you're always, yeah, then you're always going to go, oh, yeah, but you're on PC. Yeah, exactly. So uh, how, I don't know how you could level that playing field out. No, it's difficult. Like it, with Fortnite, for example, my boy plays that all the time. And like you can change the view distance and the grass foliage and stuff like that on PC. I don't know if you can on console. Probably, I would doubt so, it. Like, I never never played it on console. No, no, I've very rarely played it at all. Yeah, <laughs> I tried it. I was like, this is for kids, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like action figures everywhere as well. It's like, I just yeah. didn't like the whole building building your defenses mm -hmm. while someone's trying to attack you. I was just like, no, I don't, yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> just got bored of it very quickly, and I actually got annoyed with it. It confuses <laughs> the life out of me. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh, you're really good at shooting. I'm like, yeah, I'm good at shooting, but I kind of build for shit. You no. know what I mean? It's just not that thing. I was just like, I was brought up on Doom and Quake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> on a keyboard and mouse. Unreal and uh, unreal. Unreal? unreal? Actual unreal? Actual unreal tournament, yeah. Oh, what a game. Do you ever play that tech? Maybe once or twice. Unreal tournament mm. in, what was like, 98, 99, something like that? Oh, that was, was amazing. The, it was, I just remember the graphics were like, mm. oh. It was great back in the day. I remember the map. It's like a, a helix shape, is it? Oh, yes. And yeah. it's like just floating in space. Yeah. And just falling off and dying yeah, all the <laughs> There's a lot of quake maps like that, I know. Yeah. 